everybody, it's Brian back with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. And we're here in the Winchester in Cleveland, and we have Cleveland's own Dive Bombs. And guys, thank you so much for spending this time with us. Thanks for having <laughs> us. Thanks, yeah, thanks for And what we'll have each of you do, just kind of introduce yourself and what you do in the band. We'll go ahead and start down there. My name's Mike, and I'm on the bass. My name's Mike, and I'm on the bass. Well, <laughs> no, I'm Jamie. <laughs> and I sing and play guitar and write and compose and produce the tracks. Um, you know, I'm like, you know, the best. <laughs> Don't you play drums too? Uh, I'm Zach, <laughs> Zachary, and I play drums and nice. some synth stuff. Nice. We Rooftops hit us up and um, they were looking to book a tour and they asked if we could help out or if we knew anywhere to go. And I was like, yeah, dude, I would love to help set up a show. So. I contacted Winchester, and then we booked it, and then we found the Skies Above Us, who's also playing, who Zach and Mike are also in the Skies Above Us. Nice. So yeah, this is just like a one-off show for us, not a tour or anything. Nice. Now, have you guys played with Rooftops before, or how do you know them? No, we haven't. They just found us on Instagram, I think, because they were booking their tour, and they you know, typed in Google Cleveland bands, probably, and then luckily we came up, and I was like, sweet, yeah, we'll, we'll play a show. And that's pretty much it. Very cool. Now, I've been watching some of your videos, and I'm like, you guys really have fun in your videos. <laughs> you like to tell a story. and So, how? I mean, is that just your personalities coming out in those? Or do you sit down and do you think of the song first and try to get a video around? Or how does that process work? I think they're real life for Jamie. <laughs> We're just re reliving his, his past, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the first music video was just me because I was just in a hurry to get a music video out. So I was like, let's just like go to our music studio and I'll like pretend to sing and that but then we did Mystery Meet which is the one you probably saw yeah, yeah. That that's was, one in the diner that's yeah. The, yeah that was the best one that was a whole yeah. like there's a whole production like we're like brainstorming and coming up with ideas and we knew we wanted to like make it wear an outfit that had to do with like fast food because the, the song is about getting fired from a fast food place and then I skateboard so I was like let's let's go play at a skate park and it just worked out. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Very cool. Now, how did you guys get to know each other? Um, they are in The Skies Above Us, the other band, and we played a show with them one time, and I needed members, and I was like, you guys want to You guys want to play with me? And they were like, yeah, sure. So, yeah. yeah, a little double duty, and then I recruited Mike to come on board. and. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Because you, I forgot, Zach started drumming first. Yeah. And then we needed a bass player at some point too. And then I was like, "Do you think we can like steal another one of their band members?" <laughs> just slowly transition yeah, over. <laughs> eventually, this guy's above us will just be dive bombs. <laughs> just cease to exist. Like, hey, they yeah. never were. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So, yeah. if somebody hasn't heard you guys yet, how would you describe your sound? And maybe who are some of the artists that were influences on you? You guys want to take it? I mean, I feel like I'm. <laughs> I'll take part. I mean, yeah. the, the newer stuff is definitely like uh, I kind of say we're going for like a royal blood vibe. Okay. Some new new stuff. Um, and I, but yeah, like the older stuff, I I get like Queens of the Stone Age vibe a bit. Um, it's like the same thing. The yeah, royal blood, the Queens of the Stone Age, are like the same thing. But well, I mean, yeah, I mean that's not bad. That is like we're going for more of like a rock vibe because a lot of the songs that we play are songs that I wrote back in high school. Okay. I mean, I'm a songwriter mainly, and so we started playing songs that were already written. Um, but as we, as I'm an adult and stuff, I'm not writing songs about emo stuff anymore. So, uh, yeah, we're trying to go for like... Like Machine Gun Kelly? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this MGK, no comment. That, that's it. <laughs> um, no, yeah, so the new stuff is like more rock. Like, Queens of the Stone Age is pretty good. Like, um, I guess it, it went from like major poppy rock, major chord sounding poppy rock, to like more of a pentatonic scale, just good old rock and roll vibe. So. Nice. Definitely some uh, pop punk coming through a little bit too. Okay. okay. A little bit. For sure. Jamie doesn't like when you say that. <laughs> I, 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 I hate pop punk. I like emo, like Say Anything and Jimmy Eat World and uh, Motion City soundtrack. But then there's like a there's like a very th thin line to where it starts to become like pop punk like Blink-182 and like those type of bands and I don't really like those as much just I don't hate them it's just um 
I don't know. I think the the themes in like emo music are more relatable to me than like the themes in like pop punk music. Sure. So I don't know. Okay. Now, a question for each of you: If you could choose one band to go on tour with, who would oh, you man. choose? That's a good question. Actually. <laughs> Let's go left to right. Why don't we just do another joint tour? Left to right. Joint joint tour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, man, I like pretty much every genre, but Mm -hmm. I'd probably pick something like um, Angels and Airwaves. Yeah. Okay. uh, Yeah. yeah, That's definitely. That's a good choice. Or you know, I love Don Broco, and they're coming through, and they're like this alt rock pop kind of. So, some kind of vibe like that. Nice. Uh, Me. My favorite bands currently are Nothing But Thieves. I don't know if you know them. Nothing mm-hmm. But Thieves, Des Rocks, Cleopatra, and I don't want to leave anyone out. Maybe Alan Stone, but he's like, he's soul. He's like blue-eyed soul, so I don't think he would okay. tour with us. But maybe, you know, you could genre blend. You yeah, mix tour. up a little bit. So maybe those four. Anyone in those four, four bands would be awesome for me. Nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of, like, kind of like the border of like indie rock and like pop punk or punk uh so bands like jeff rosenstock and pup and bands like that that are really they've been having a good past few years sure in that genre nice yeah, i apologize cool. for reaching across <laughs> you <laughs> this is gonna block my face just like <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys working on new music right now yeah um we just finished mastering an ep it's actually a covers EP, um, and we're doing four covers, but each of the covers also has like another cover spliced into it. Okay. So like, I don't, I don't, I don't like to give them all away because I like it to be a surprise. Like I like when the cover, the surprise cover comes in to people are usually like, whoa, what? <laughs> like, how did you fit that in there? So like one of them, for, for example, because we've already, um, it's probably gonna be the first single is "Ain't No Rest for the Wicked" by Cage the Elephant. Um, and we also splice in Do I Want to Know by Arctic Monkeys. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it, it's like a whole four-song EP um, that's going to be coming out in a few months once I get all the rights like legally obtained because it's, gotcha. it's a hard process. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a hard process. Um, and then we're going to start recording uh, an original EP um, within the next couple months. So, yeah, I'd say... Mid to late 2022 is going to be the year of dive bombs. There you go. You. <laughs> now, where can fans follow you guys online? Pretty much everywhere, right? Yeah. I mean, what's the, the handle? Dive bombs. No. Dive bombs music. Yeah. <laughs> it's at it's dive. Diff- I mean, obviously, Spotify, you can search dive bombs. Yeah. Right. But. but you can't search the dive bombs because it'll be a different band. And you can't search dive bombs one word. And you can't search dive bomb. Because apparently there, I, I didn't do enough research, and there's other bands that are really close. So you have to type in two words, <laughs> "dive bombs." That's it, and you'll find us on Spotify, Apple Music, and then like at Dive Bombs Music on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Even I think TikTok is just Dive Bombs. Gotcha. And yeah. YouTube for music videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Which yeah. would be Dive Bombs. Yeah. Maybe Dive Bombs Cleveland. I think it's Dive Bombs. <laughs> I think Dive Bombs. Oh, music is also the youtube i think yeah awesome well guys thank you again so much yeah, and before we so leave much. is there anything you'd like to say to fans um thanks for on. giving us the time and checking us out yeah <laughs> keep on rocking in the free world <laughs> yeah thanks for listening and uh we'd love to see you come out sometime yeah we're coming to a city near you someday so make sure you especially see if you're here <laughs> yeah, yeah. especially lakewood ohio <laughs> cleveland ohio Chicago, maybe Detroit, um, Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're going to be doing some... some maybe Erie? Erie, Pittsburgh. <laughs> we'll be doing some touring um, once we release that EP, hopefully. That's the, the goal. So Awesome. Midwest cities, maybe even like New York or something, Florida, who knows. So keep an eye on them. We'll put the links so that you guys can know when they are going out. and Make sure you check them. It's going to be an awesome show. Again, guys, thank you so much. Dude, thank As always, you. thank you guys. We love you. God bless and rock on. Yeah. I just got fired from my job, but I don't care because I know I'm better than working part time at some trashy fast food restaurant with the hairnet on my head. Three hours a week wasn't worth the time I put in to cooking the meal.